I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Today I'm holding two of the 2017 PSE Expression Bows. Um, these are the two of the new colours. This is the green and the purple. The purple I find really bright, very pretty. The green's also a very nice colour, very much very similar to the Hoyt green. Now the Expression was first released in 2016 um, by PSE. Um, and they had success on a world stage with the expression um, with shooters like Stefan Hansen. Now this is very much a target bow and for me it's generally out of the price range for most of my archers. Most recreational archers if they are target shooting a lot for the PSE Supra which is the model down from this purely on price point. Now for me I'm a competitive shooter and the price is not so much of an issue um, because I shoot just so much. Um, I actually shoot an expression and when I first did the review on the PSE expression for 2016 um, I did have some questions about the bow, the weight of the bow, but now I've been shooting the bow for a year I mean I love the expression um, and with the 2017 lineup I'm really really excited to show this to you. So the first point I want to make is last year when they released the expression they had a flexible cable guard and I said when they had that on there I said it looked cheap um, and I wasn't that impressed with it. Now it proved to be very functional. I had not a single failure with the um, flex guard. However I found it used to grab a bit on the rollers um, on the cable slide and in fact I changed to a roller system and that was in my reviews of the bow. Now one thing I love about PSE is every year the bow gets a little bit better and so for 2017 you'll see the cable guard they have um, this is metal machined and this is a carbon rod here so that's the first point so they've changed from the flexible cable guard to this cable system where it actually angles in to reduce the torque on the system. Now with this system you can retrofit it to the older models um, and you can also change the angle on this system to increase or decrease out the um, angle on the string to reduce or increase torque um, which is really simple it's just that bolt there. Um, so really really simple. Now the other thing PSE did was in 2016 they used a really cheap um, cable guard, cable slide. Now on my expression, I actually replaced, this is my expression, I actually replaced mine to a Saunders Hyperguide. Now does it improve my scores? No it doesn't. But what it did, it made the draw cycle a little bit smoother. In the rain sometimes it used to be a little bit catchy. I changed to the Saunders Hyperslide and it went away. Now the cost on a Saunders Hyperslide, Australian dollars, probably around 40 odd dollars. Now I don't get any wear issues with it. Um, it's not a bad slide. But what PSC have done in 2017 is they produced a new cable guard, a cable slide. And this thing is awesome. It's, to me it's the best cable guard on, cable slide on the market. So you've got roller bearing here. And here, these ones, these little bearings run really, really smooth. Um, it's a very simple system. It's angled, so basically the strings don't touch. Because you can see there, they'll touch. Now by changing the angle, they move away from each other and stops their string wear. So really, really simple, easy to fit. Um, so yeah, to me, big plus on the cable slide. Now the other, the other points on the expression, string colours and string material. Now in 2017, PSE are now making their own strings. Um, they still use America's Best, but I believe these are made on the PSE machines, so they have a computer machine making these strings. Now I've been dealing with PSE for a number of years, and back, I can go back five years, and when they used to do target bows, they used to produce a blue target bow with red strings. And I said back on back then, this is really silly. Now, for this year, this is the purple, and you just look at the strings that come with it. They're purple and black, they look great, matches in with the whole purple theme, so you can, you know, bling your bow up with the purple sights, the black stabilizers, and make the bow look 
good and you're not having to put a new set of strings on so I really like that now the new colors for 2017 obviously the purple the green um, they also do a yellow unfortunately I can't show the yellow because my shipment went back to America because there was some warranty parts in there um, and warranty parts don't make it through customs because they don't have a value um, so that's unfortunate so they also do yellow they do blue they do red they do the platinum platinum last year was by far the most popular color I think it was popular because you could basically offset it with a blue sight or a red sight and give your bow only the blue look or a red look or a green look um, so the platinum was by far the most popular color they do black obviously blacks popular um, and white and I probably forgot a color but they're the main colors so lots more colors now for PSE in 2017 and here's the strings on the green um, expression now with the expression it comes with um, a 65 cent module and it comes fitted with a 75 cent module the draw length on the expression is adjustable I'm gonna get this wrong from 26 to 31 and a half inches through rotating only on the bottom this module which is really simple to adjust and also the draw stop the this is currently set on F and the little post there just there is also set on F and it's that simple basically each letter is half an inch um, A being the longest so A being 31 and a half inches um, so to me that's really really good what else was I going to say oh the limb so the negative parts on the 2017 this is a limb pivot system here now what this little screw does it pushes on the limbs to lock the limbs in place now I've found um, that this is brand new straight out of the pocket package I've just pulled it out now if you can hear that this screws loose um, that needs to be tightened um, and I don't think it's good enough coming out of the factory loose mm -hmm. the top one here is actually tight so you know like it's not a big deal but when you're getting a bow brand new it's a bit disappointing the other thing that PSE did for 2017 is the limb movement system so PSE have got a system where you can like on a recurve you can move these limbs left or right now I don't do it but I've got the ability to do it I have played with it but I've then reset the bow back to standard with 2016 to move the limbs backwards and forwards you had two bolts one on either side you loosen one and then you pulled it on the other side so it was like push and pull system in the 20 in the 2017 model it's been replaced with this it's just one screw and it basically moves backwards and forwards um, I think it looks a bit chunky and actually I didn't mind the old system I think just aesthetics I probably preferred the old system this may be a better system but to me I don't use it so I was more than happy with the lock system that they had last year I understand why they changed to keep life simple for people but I don't think that looks as good as the last system they had but that's what it is now the overall expression um, as a bow if you're looking to buy one it's aimed at the top end target archer now I I basically started with the expression when I first got the bow my scores dropped um, I'm a, I was a 290 indoor shooter um, I got the expression my scores dropped to around a 285 on the first time I shot it and that was I feel because of the weight the bow was physically heavier than the bow I was previously shooting now since then my scores have gone through the roof so now I shoot pretty I'm going to say regularly 300s I call myself probably 298 299 shooter I do shoot 300s now um, which I've never done before so I've been shooting for 30 30 years over 30 years and shooting the expression was the first time I've ever shot a 300 indoors um, my outdoor scores in fact all my scores are way up overall and I seem to be getting better right and what I love about the expression is I can go from the 75% module which I did to the 65% which is where I'm now shooting now why would you want to do that the reason why I did that was basically at 75% I could hold the bow 
and my muscles were not fatiguing but now I'm shooting a fair few arrows I can drop back to 65% let off because my muscles are stronger I'm shooting recurve and I actually get more back tension into the shot I find it's a little bit steadier in the wind and I still want to experiment with the 75 in the wind to see if I can actually hold the bow longer in the wind but I find I'm a little bit steadier in the wind with the 65 but I find the back tension and the shot comes off a little bit cleaner with the 65 so and what I love about PSE you can change the draw length change the let off doesn't cost you anything with other brands like your elites and other bows you've got to buy modules every time you do it and it's going to cost you 80 odd dollars every time you want to try a different draw length different let off and some bows don't allow you to change let off so really like that um, it's a simple bow I just think it's for me in price I think the Supra is better value um, the PSE Supra so I have all my staff who work in my shop and they can shoot whichever bow they want um, I stock pretty much every brand so in my staff in my shop everyone so I've got Tristan Theo um, Tracy um, Tiani um, Callan um, everyone shoots a PSE Supra I find it shoots just as well as the expression and I'm not saying don't buy an expression I'm just saying that unless you're an elite archer I think the dollars associated with this bow it's hard to justify but for me and I'm not saying I'm rich or anything but for me when I was going to buy a new bow I was going to buy it for 2017 I was going to buy a Supra but I was just shooting so well with the expression like just unbelievably well I'm yeah shooting really really well I was like I'm gonna buy another expression because I'm so happy with the bow um, and even though it costs an extra 600 odd dollars um, that's Australian American 400 odd um, I think it was worth it um, I do like the look of their Supra but all my staff sh all shoot Supras um, out of all the bows in the shop um, the string stop so it does have the ability to fit a string stop up a limb stop up the top here now some of my staff actually don't fit that string stop because they find the wall is very solid um, when they draw it back I physically do use a one and the string stop comes in a little bag there so I do use one but I'd be happy not to use one because this draw cycle is really really solid so overall this expression really loved the bow and I think these improvements just put the bow over the top but if you do have a 2016 expression you can basically fit all the parts to it um, the new cable guards new rollers you can even buy these um, limb adjustment settings for it um, so things about this um, expression machine limb pockets this is all machined out of a single block um, the riser on this bow why is it so expensive it takes four times as long to make as a Supra um, because it's all machined out of a single block here the material used to make this riser it's I think it's four times as much material as a Supra to make so even though it's $400 more expensive for PSE this is a much more expensive bow to make than a normal Supra but overall I'm I'm ecstatic with the expression it wasn't a big seller for me I had no I had no limb replacements in 2016 for the super all the expression I dry fired my bow which you know you should never do but it was you know a mistake I had no problems with it um, I find these wheels are fairly chunky I shoot 60 pounds and I'm not saying dry fire your bow by any stretch of the imagination it was a mistake but nothing went wrong the limbs were fine the cams were fine the strings I did replace I've shot through three sets of strings this year um, but I am shooting about 120 hours a day um, all PSE bows have timing marks there so you can see if they're timed now this is a hybrid cam system so and there this is a hybrid cam system so even if the strings are not in time it, it doesn't affect the way the bow shoots it will affect poundage and draw length but it's it's a pretty rock solid bow to shoot and 
to set up I've really had no issues with my bow at all um, so I mean I can show you and there's plenty of videos of me shooting the expression which you can look up on my website so I'm not even going to shoot this but I'm just going to go through the upgrades but the PSE expression love the bow but also look at the Supra um, and you know try out other bows on the market as well but for me I just find this bow I'm shooting extremely good scores with it um, I think the other bows on the market may be smoother to draw maybe easier to hold maybe less shock and I'm not saying there's much shock with this um, but overall in scores like it's 40 inches axle axle it does come in a 3d version which is I think 38 inches axle axle I shoot 40 um, it's just for me if I'm looking for accuracy the expression and you know compared to the top of the line Hoyts um, this is cheaper and it does have the compression limbs so yeah I'm like really really happy overall with the expression I love the changes PSE have made and I always say the customer service at PSE is just the best so when I ordered these bows I mean they're here now I know other shops are getting them but they sort of just flow and if you ever need parts like you've broken your bow they tend to just to flow in unless they get stuck in customs in my case and they go back to America but for me it's a very simple company to deal with you order it the stock comes in other companies you've got you know three month lead time and you know six months lead time to get parts and to get the bits in so PSE everything's made in-house in America these limbs are Gordon glass are made in the PSE factory um, yeah it's it's just brilliant so so my only negative point is those things need to be tightened up so but that's it really really good solid product I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies check out the PSE Expression and check out the new color range of the PSE Expressions and the PSE Supras thank you bye